Now, we have three parts of a story to tell you. Each one with a different purpose. And the first one starts in a classroom. There will always be the student and the bully. A student will always try hard to understand. And when they don't, they shouldn't be afraid to ask. However, the bully will always try to stop you from progressing but you shouldn't let them silence you. You'll be surprised how one can be so cruel to the minority, but all it takes is one friend to change his whole experience. So when you see someone sitting alone, be the first one to initiate a conversation because you don't know what they're going through. Now, part two of the story. Sometimes you don't notice that the little things you do impacts your surroundings. You just need someone to wake you up and to teach you the initiatives to start. You'll be surprised by how ignorant some people can be and amazed by their reactions. But there is still time to change. And finally, the last part of the story. Remember the student and the bully from the first part? Well. Five years later, they have the same job interview coming up. She took initiatives for her future by going through work attachments. She loved what she was doing and was hoping for it to be her career. And the bully? Well, he could care less. As long as he gets the job. The interview started and the student talked about how she achieved great results, went through several work attachments, expressed how passionate she was, and how hard she worked to be in the position. And the bully, he winged it, talked about himself, his degree, his skills, and that's about it. The interview went well for one of them, and the other, not so well. But sometimes, moments happen for a reason, and for him, it was a wake-up call. Instead of giving up, he tried harder, didn't complain, and started to believe that if he wanted to change, he needed to do it himself. But that's not how the story goes. The reality of it. Peer pressure is still an apparent issue in the educational system. The action of the bullies are discouraged but still tolerated by schools. And the student remains quiet. Racism is still not acknowledged in today's society. And people tend to turn a blind eye. Some people still prefer convenience over conservation. And not a lot of people are aware of the consequences of their actions. 
Not everyone is happy with what they're pursuing. And even if they like it, no matter how passionate they are, how hard they've worked, the achievements achieved, and the skills they possess, they are still turned down, no matter the amount of potential they have. Usually, they end up giving up. And that's the reality of it. <laughs>